Here we will show you how to use Hot Air to easily desolder a Wi-Fi module from an IoT device. Our guide will also cover soldering back this module in its place. Of course, similar methods can be applied to any other SMD components. We have already covered a similar process in our previous video, but without using hot air with only a simple soldering iron. Please refer to that if you don't have a hot air station. Let's start by adding flux to the pads. Flux is necessary here, it will make both soldering and desoldering easier. Then add some more PB solder to the pads. The PB solder will mix with the PB3 solder used by the factory and lower the melting temperature of the solder joints. This process will make the soldering easier and quicker. It is important to do this so we can reduce the stress of the PCB. It will take less heating to remove the module now. Ok, finally it's time to start heating with hot air. Heat up the PCB slowly and evenly. Try to direct the air at each solder joint, but do not heat up one point too long. You can also add some more flux when it's needed. Be patient, it can take several minutes to heat up the joints and the PCB. While you are waiting for the joints to heat up, you can consider visiting our Electroda forum to read more about IoT devices flashing and hacking. Look at the solder joints carefully, you will see when they melt. Finally, pick up the Wi-Fi model but never use the force. Using force may damage the pads and PCB tracks. Wi-Fi model should already be floating. Okay, now you can remove the old solder with the soldering wick. Add more flux if needed. Removing old solder will help with soldering new model, especially because old solder might be PB3 type. By the way, here is the desoldered module. You can finally read the pad markings or just replace it with whatever you want. Then it's recommended to clean the board with isopropyl alcohol or another cleaning solvent. Remove old flux and prepare a board for soldering the new Wi-Fi model. Before soldering back the module, make sure to also clear its pads with the soldering wick, just like we did with the board. Of course, also remember to clean the flux from the back of the module. No flux residue should be left on the module before soldering it back. Now it's time to solder the Wi-Fi module in its place. There are many ways to do this, but we are usually not using hot air for that purpose. It's easy to just solder one pad first, use it to position the module correctly and keep it in place. You can melt the solder again and readjust the position of the model if it's needed. Once you are happy with the model alignment, add more flux and solder the remaining pads one by one. While soldering pads, try to aim the solder to the pad and not to the soldering iron tip. Make sure that all pads are soldered. If you get solder bridges between pads, try dragging soldering iron tip over them. And if they are still there, use solder wick to remove excess solder. Repeat the same process for the second row of the pads. Again, add flux and solder pads one by one. Finally, all pads are soldered. Now it's time for final cleaning of the PCB. Just like before, use isopropyl alcohol to clean the board from the flux residue. It's also very important to inspect the joints after soldering preferably with a microscope or a magnifier. You can also check the track's continuity with a multimeter. Remember to also check for shorts between nearby pads. Finally, soldering is done. The vice was tested after the soldering process and is still fully working. So the process was a success. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forum. You can also visit our IoT Teardowns database or even submit a new article there. 
you can send you a free gift for posting one. See you on the forum.